Hello and welcome back to my video tutorial on vector geometry. So in this question, uh, we'll be dealing with another theorem based on vector. So uh, we have to prove median to the base of an isosceles triangle. So here we are given isosceles triangle ABC. So this is our isosceles triangle with side AB is equal to AC. So median to the base of an isosceles triangle. So our AM is the median. And median to the base of an isosceles triangle, which is BC, is perpendicular to the base. So we have to prove that AM is perpendicular to BC. So this is what we have to prove. And what we know is that if two vectors, say vector A and vector B, are perpendicular, so the dot product of these two vectors is zero. We can say that the dot product of two vectors are zero if and only if they are perpendicular to each other. So if we try to show that the dot product of vector AM and vector AC is equal to zero, then definitely AM is perpendicular to BC, or we can say that the median is perpendicular to the base. So at first, I would suppose, um, sorry, side AB, so this vector AB, I would suppose it is equal to vector A. Similarly, vector AC, this vector right here is equal to vector B. So AC is equal to B. Now, since we're also given that this triangle ABC is isosceles with equal sides being sides AB and AC, we can write that the magnitude of side AB or the length of side AB is equal to length of side AC, which means magnitude of vector A is equal to magnitude of vector B and finally vector sign and this modulus sign get cancelled out and we have A equal to B which is the length or the magnitude. Now I'll take median AM so median AM means moving from point A to point M is same as moving from point A to B and then B to M so for vector am i can write vector ab plus vector bm and since uh we're talking about the base of an isosceles triangle we can say that the median it divides the base into two equal halves so mm, this base bm should equal to base mc uh, for triangle abc being an isosceles triangle now for this part AB, we suppose it as vector A. And for BM, what I can write is it is equal to half of side BC. We can clearly see that BM, this side is equal to side MC. So for BM, I can write it is equal to half of the overall side BC. Now for side BC, BC means moving from point B to point C. So, moving from point B to C is same as moving from point B to A and then A to C. So, A plus one half of, for side BC, I can write BA plus AC. Further, what we can do is for BA. So, a, since AB is equal to A, BA means moving from point B to A and AB means moving from point A to B so the direction is negative so we have to change the sign for vector A so we have vector BA is equal to minus vector A so here I can write minus vector A and for AC I suppose it as B so I can write here B so vector A one half into minus a is minus half of a and half of b so a minus 1 by 2 a is equal to 1 by 2 vector a and here I have 1 by 2 vector b now if I take 1 by 2 
common I have vector A plus vector B also if we try to solve for vector BC we've already talked that moving from point B to C is same as moving from point B to A and then A to C so for vector BC I can write vector BA plus vector AC and BA is equal to negative of A from here and AC we suppose it as B so I can write here vector B now to show that AM is perpendicular to BC if we take the dot product of AM and BC it should be equal to zero so if we can prove so that am dot bc is equal to zero then definitely we can prove that am vector is perpendicular to bc so am from here we can write is equal to half of a plus b and bc is equal to minus a plus b so now let us use the distributive property a dot minus vector a I can write it this way and a dot b b and minus a dot b and then twice vector b now we can get rid of vector minus vector a dot b and positive vector a dot b and here we have now what I want you to know is that if we multiply two vectors say vector a and vector a then we can write that it is equal to square of magnitude and finally we can write a square for vector a dot vector a it's because the vector sign gets cancelled with the modulus sign and finally we can write a square because after squaring there is no use of the direction so here I can write negative a squared and here I can write positive b squared the negative sign remains as it is since vector a dot vector a is equal to a squared now we uh, as we have uh, already discussed that since ABC is an isosceles triangle the magnitude of the sides are equal that is A is equal to B so here we can cancel out simply we can just cancel out B squared minus A squared since both A and B being equal we can write for B squared we can substitute A so a squared minus a squared which is equal to one half times zero so finally we have here zero so finally we can say two vectors am and bc are perpendicular since am dot bc is equal to zero and finally we have proved that the median to the base of an isosceles triangle am is perpendicular to the base which is bc i hope it is clear to you and thanks for watching